100% agreed. And I can't believe people don't see this as a problem. I'll put my criticism to one side for a minute and I'll try to be charitable. The people who originally started the ideas of diversity and inclusion programmes, and not to mention diversity politics, are more than willing to accept that they may have had good intention. They may have been trying to help people at the bottom of society get up the ladder. But unfortunately, the way to do that is not by discriminating. And however you look at it, it is discrimination. You can put fluffy language like diversity and inclusion in front of it all you want, but at the end of the day, you are still looking at people and you are looking at their inherent characteristics and deciding whether or not they should get the job, as opposed to their knowledge, their qualifications and their ability to work. And while you may be helping people to begin with, you will naturally be disadvantaging other people. And like all things, once you have ideological commitments, you can sometimes take it too far. Where you have targets, you must hire this number of people with this sexuality or this religion or this ethnic background. And suddenly you are not hiring people based on merit. You're hiring people in order to fill a quota. But make no mistake, you can make exceptions. For example, if you are a news publication and you need a reporter or a journalist to talk about something going on in Africa, preferably you want someone who is African or knows about Africa or is from Africa. This is an instance where it would be perfectly fine. And often when I've had these discussions with people, they, they like to say that, well, that's what these diversity and inclusion programs are. Except they're not really. Because I have seen jobs in research departments in offices of the BBC where there are jobs open exclusively to BAME. Now, if I saw this same job somewhere else in the world and it said this job is only available to white applicants, I would equally be criticising it because it is racially discriminating. And there is literally no reason for it other than to fill a quota. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't care about HR departments and their quotas. They should be hiring people based on merit and merit only. Discrimination is unacceptable regardless of who it is happening to.